<laughs> really hoping for a snowstorm. <laughs> oh my God, this is a hot mess up in here. Oh my God. Do I need to take you back to the store? Hello, landing crew. Today is the all famous what I got my kids for Christmas. Now, if you've been following a little bit, I did say we were not going to go overboard and I'm sure what you're thinking is how is this not overboard, Stephanie? I'm asking myself the same question, but I feel like Toys R Us, if they were still in business, they would be really, really proud of me right now, okay? So my name is Stephanie. We have six kids. We have a 15, 14, 12, four, two, and an almost one-year-old. I'm giving roundabout ages when Christmas comes just to help everyone out. But before we get started, let's just get the question out of the way of why are you doing a haul when your kids could watch your video and then know what they're getting for Christmas? My kids do not watch my channel. This is a mom channel channel and it kind of bores them, I'm sure. So yeah. Also, please know that if you are watching this and you cannot get your kids this many gifts because you are not insane, do not feel bad about that. Everyone has a different version of Christmas. These are presents just from us. These are presents from us, from grandparents. I've already done a Christmas budget video. So if you want to kind of know how we do Christmas, then go ahead in the link in the description. But this is basically from everyone. So this isn't just from us. Okay. So my daughter Penelope, she is adorable and she deserves the world. Okay, guys, the world. However, however, she's just a baby. So I did go a lot lighter on her for Christmas. To start off with, the biggest gift she's getting is from her Auntie Shay. You can't see it. It's in the very, very, very back, but it is a carriage. I will insert a photo. My friend Shay bought it for her and I'm just including this in case anyone out there wants to get themselves a carriage for their kid. Their kid probably is a lot older than Penelope, but Shay and I saw it and Shay had to get it, so Shay got it. Any links will be in the description below if you guys wanna check them out and get them for your kiddos. So next we have this cool little babble and rattle microphone. It is VTech. It's for three months plus, so I figured it'd be a lot of fun for her. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Can you sing a song? I love to sing with you. Perfect, right? Because she's the first girl in like forever, okay, like 15 years, we don't have a lot of toys for her. Right now she's been using a lot of Liam's toys and while that's fine, I kind of wanted her to have her own that she can explore and play with. Liam is our almost two year old. You'll see all of his stuff in a minute, but he is on a lower level cognitively. So he still plays with a lot of baby toys. So I don't want to take things away from him. So this is a gift that my mom got her. And then this is <laughs> another gift cute little thing. It is a My Smart Purse. I love Laugh and Learn. If something from Laugh and Learn comes out, I'm all about it. They're cute. They're fun to play with, but it also teaches them stuff at the same time. So we are going to the Colorado mountains in March. We live in Florida. So what that means is like we have nothing for cold weather at all. Like our winters in the 50s. So I got her some cute things because I'm like, look, I want to get her more than just toys because she's a baby. She's not going to play with everything. So I got her this cute little hat and these cute little mittens. She's going to look adorable. We're visiting the Colorado area, but we're also going to go up to the mountains where there's gonna be snow still and things like that. So I got her a snowsuit. Now this may be overkill, but you know, whatever. If anything, it's gonna be adorable for pictures and I will like backdrop some snow in there if I have to, okay. Next, we also got her just some sweater tights. Um, really guys, I have no purpose for this other than they're really cute. So if we find some dresses or something we want to put her in, she's got some tights. We have this picnic basket. This was my friend Melissa's idea. I looked at it and I thought it was just so adorable. So <laughs> I got it for her because it's cute. It's a leapfrog one. So it teaches while it's fun and it's pink guys. And after four boys, I'm buying everything that's pink. Okay. So for this next item, I'm going to have to insert a picture because they sent me a really boring brown box. It's super cute. It's a magical music mirror is from Fisher Price. Next is outfits because you know, we're only going for a week, but apparently my daughter needs like a lot of cute clothes. 
I try to get layered clothes because I realize in Colorado the weather can be kind of sporadic and I don't know so I wanted things that we could bundle her up in if it gets cold or something happens like a snowstorm <laughs> really hoping for a snowstorm or if it's warmer that day and we want her not to like burn up or something so this is a little cute outfit like look at that look at that and then you got some unicorns and then some unicorn leggings i'm not going to like overdo showing you guys the clothes because i'm pretty sure you didn't click on this video to look at clothes so i will just show you quickly we got a striped sweater some leopard pants another outfit i'm gonna get a different colored shirt i don't like it but the little sweater vest is nice with some pink pink clothes and i am in love in love with these fluffy vests. I don't know why, I love them on girls, I love them on boys. And we also have a Dalmatians outfit because it's adorable and they have these little things. I just, I haven't seen them in forever. So they're super cute. I remember having to wear them as a kid. You know, I said I didn't get her that much stuff, but I'm like, didn't realize how much stuff I got her, yeah. So next we have this Laugh and Learn Smart Stages, which is cute. It teaches them first words, songs, sounds, phrases, ABCs, numbers and counting. It's just a fun little stuffed animal that's gonna teach your kids stuff. So I thought it was a win. Ooh, that shows my address. To match that puppy dog there, we have the walker. Look at that, guys. So, so cute. It, it just has little things that they get to learn and do and then it also promotes walking. She is starting to try to stand up now. So we're really wanting to get those muscles going. That's all, that's all I got for my 11 month old. At the time I didn't feel like it was that much, but now I'm like, God, Stephanie, I'm glad you stopped. Next we have my little guy, Liam. So some of these gifts for our little guy, Liam, is gonna be a little bit different just because he will turn to like two weeks after Christmas, but he's on a little bit lower level cognitively. Liam loves dinosaurs, like loves them. I thought this was like the cutest dinosaur I ever saw on Amazon, so. We got him. So Liam loves horses, or at least he loves the little horse that the therapist usually brings. So I got him his own special horse that he can carry around. He gets really fixated on objects. He loves carrying them around so much. He's also obsessed with phones and remotes. So I got him a play phone that is touch screen as well. We've tried other play phones and he just knows that it's not the real thing. So he's not interested in it. My mom got Liam this. This is a on the glow coffee cup. It's from Laugh and Learn. And I thought it was adorable so much. I saw it at Walmart and so I just knew he needed to have it. One, two, three. More sugar, please. <laughs> so cute. So this is an item I bought for Liam as well. It is a laugh and learn vacuum which is adorable i figured it was his size as well and i think that would just be so so cute and who knows maybe i can get my two-year-old helping me clean liam shares a room with his big brother noah that has this big penguin that he loves so much so we thought it would be so cute since they're roomies to get liam a cute little penguin to match i asked noah to make sure he was okay with it i didn't want noah feeling weird or like something that was his was kind of being like taken away or the idea. Noah thought it was the cutest idea ever for his penguin to have a baby. So this is a gift for Liam. Next we have a Fisher Price a Laugh and Learn. Again, just a boring brown box. So I will insert a picture for you. It's just a small kitchen. We have one of those big step two kitchens in the playroom. So we don't need like a whole big one, but I figured this one would be cute and nice. Also not pictured here. And this was one of Liam's big Christmas gifts was a Thomas the Train roller coaster and it's a fun little thing that they can get in and a lot of these things like just because we're getting it for one child doesn't mean another child won't play with it I feel like the roller coaster thing they will both play with a lot uh, Lex and Liam Lex is my four-year-old so I think he'll play with it too but that's like his big big gift I was not bringing it all the way upstairs just to show you guys because it is big and heavy so next we have a sky bound trampoline so last year we got Lex a trampoline that Liam has kind of been using Liam loves jumping on everything anything that he can find so he loves the trampoline but the trampoline downstairs doesn't have a lot of bouncy to it so I looked at the reviews I looked at YouTube videos and this seems to be the best one I'll insert a photo it is very very cute it has a little handrail that he can hold on to I think it will kind of fit his needs a little bit better and then next we have a 
sensory swing. I'm not gonna take it out, I'll insert a photo. It's like a cocoon swing and it's something that his occupational therapist thinks that he could benefit a lot from. <laughs> Oh my God, this is a hot mess up in here. Oh my God. I was more together last year when I was like eight, nine months pregnant. So next is Alexander. We call Alexander Lex. He is our four-year-old and he is a busy buddy. So we are gonna go over the things we got for him. Originally, we were gonna be gaining Lex an iPad because he loves going on the iPad, but we have recently been trying to get him off electronics as much, off of superhero things because we're just having a very negative reaction to it. We wanted to get him something that was going to get him to use some problem solving skills and not just staring at a screen, something that was more of an investment. I mean, we have tablets and iPads plenty here, so we decided to get him this huge Melissa and Doug grocery mart. You basically get to role play like this grocery store experience, which I think is really cool. So it makes it look like you get all of this stuff, right? No, you have to buy a lot of the stuff to go with it. So this is the companion collection. I got it at Target and I had a coupon and I got it for only $120, which I thought was a good price because it's originally $180. But then I also got this for like $20, $25. And this just basically has everything with it that you need. Money, like an apron, name tag, just like little cereal boxes and stuff. But I also knew he would want more stuff to go with it. He loves role playing, like playing doctor. He also loves pretending to cook. He loves his kitchen so much. So I also wanted to get him some stuff that could double with his kitchen. So we felt like that was a better investment than getting an iPad. And then we got him some cans. Look at those. We also got some pretend cutting toys. I like these a lot more because the ones we had gotten in the past, they basically been Velcro. These are actually magnetic. So these were a little bit more expensive, but in my opinion, like it's definitely worth it. They are wooden and then you can cut them, but they have a magnetic tool instead of the Velcro because what would happen sometimes is the Velcro would come off. I'm the type that if half of the vegetable or fruit was gone, I'd throw it away anyway. Here is something that we had before. If you've been following us a really long time, you might remember this, but we got this. They are plastic, but they're very, very sturdy and they come with its own like little little bag right there that you can put them in. I love things that like give us a way to organize them because when you have little kids, things get just so crazy so fast. We also got this right here. Uh, this is a cash register. I don't know what the cash register to the Play Mart looks like. Lex has always been obsessed with eggs. We got him eggs last year and they were like the pill part ones and those just again got lost and it didn't work out. We got him some wooden eggs that are going to last. They're all in one piece and I love that some are white and some are brown. Lex will go around the house just holding an egg. It always ends up badly, always, every single time. So I hope that this kind of helps that and this can also be just kind of some fun role play with the grocery store or of course his kitchen. That's like his big, big gift, obviously. And then he loves Mr. Potato Head. He loves putting things together. He loves building things. It doesn't matter what it is. He loses attention very easily. So I want him to have multiple activities he can like kind of switch from. And he loves Tori Story. So we got him a Toy Story Potato Head Buzz. We got this Tinker Toy. I got him some floor puzzles. Lux loves putting together puzzles and he loves like fire trucks. So I figured this was a really good investment. It's Melissa and Doug. And that's kind of what it looks like. It's actually in the shape of a fire truck. Noah's physical therapist back up in Jacksonville had these and he just loved them. So I'm hoping that Lex will have a same response. This is the busy barn. So it's in the shape of a barn, but it's all about animals and Lex loves animals. So I thought that would be another good investment. We also have some Lincoln logs as well, just building some houses. I did get him a lot of building things just because I don't know which one he is going to really feel attached to and Noah enjoys building as well. So I figured if we made a new role with the iPad that he can only be on like educational games, educational videos, Disney plus, that kind of thing. So 
my mom got him some Pikachu headphones. He's been really obsessed with Pikachu a lot lately. So these are really cute. It's a parental volume. It helps protect your hearing so they can't turn it up too loud, which I like as well. And I also got him this magnetic pattern block kit. The doctor that evaluated him for autism had one of these kind of like this and he loved it. I'm hoping that he'll love this one as well. And then we also got him some magnetiles. These look really, really cool and I really think he'll like this. We'll just kind of see what building item he likes the most and if anything, it will give him plenty of variety. Oh, his last big gift, his last big gift is a humongous slide. I was not bringing it upstairs, but Lex loves going to the park and he loves sliding so much. So we got him the slide that could either be outside or inside. We have a really big spacious living area. So we figured it would be awesome for Lex to have his own slide that he could go down. I think I meant to only get him magnetiles and Lincoln Logs. I don't think I meant to get him the Tinker Toys too. I don't know. And we just bought a bunch of sensory things like connects and everything like that. So I'm not sure. I don't know. We will deal with that later. Next we have Noah. Noah is my 12 year old. Usually I feel like every year I have to give this disclosure that hey if you see these items that are a little bit younger than their age like he's special needs but this year I don't feel like I need to give that disclosure even though I just did. Noah has made so much progress this year. We are so proud of him. To start off with, this is from one of his friends, Sky, Shay's daughter. She wanted to get him a gift. I'm only showing you guys in case you want an idea, but basically Noah loves Pokemon. He loves Pikachu. And this is literally a talking Pikachu. He has over 10 sounds and phrases. It's a talking one. starts randomly going up. Don't randomly go up in the middle of the night. But Noah's gonna be really excited. Something else we've gotten for Noah is we got him a computer chair. We were gonna get him a Spider-Man one, but that one just was out of stock. So we decided to just go with a simple red and black one. Noah has a Nintendo Switch that he's been really enjoying playing. So we got him a DC Super Villains Lego game. He's asked for this for a while now. He wanted it when they had one for the Nintendo Wii U. Next, my mom got him this really cool cup. Noah loves cups like this and he is definitely a Power Rangers fan. Now we are trying to not have Lex on Power Rangers, but my mom bought this before that. Honestly, I feel like it's just a cup and just because one of our kids are struggling with something, it doesn't mean the entire house has to change. It's for hot and cold beverages. It's fun. It can have a little straw that goes in there and it'd be good for on the road. So another big gift for Noah is this camera. It's an Olympus Tough TG6. Noah's really been getting into photography and wanting to film more and do different things, but he's been doing it on his iPad. So there's been kind of a talk about, hey, we could get you a camera. We didn't want to get a camera that could easily break if it was broken. What? We didn't want to get a camera that would easily be broken if it was dropped. So we looked and it's waterproof. Let me open it and see. It doesn't have a flip out screen like my camera does, but it's not something for him to become the next YouTuber. It's just something fun for him, but it's definitely way more heavy duty than mine. Mine would like be broken to pieces if it, it was dropped, but I figured this is a good starting camera for him. But I think it's important for me to encourage them when they have something that is very passionate for them. This year, Noah really wants to do photography and, and do more videos. Next year, it might be something else, but I think that's also the beauty of being a kid. Next, we have this Star Wars screensaver. You get to record your own sounds. He saw a commercial on it and now he wanted it. So I got it for him. Danielle's been getting him into Star Wars a little bit. It was the first toy he's actually requested in a while. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I was talking about this penguin, the one that Liam's getting that little penguin to. The penguin he actually got at Disney World. I've never seen him this attached to a stuffed animal before in my life. The penguin looks kind of rough now, guys. I mean, it's missing a foot. It's like torn open in different places. I don't know what's happened with the penguin, but it is kind of rough and it needs to be washed, but I'm afraid if I wash it, it's just gonna make it worse. So we got him a new one. <laughs> 
<laughs> which feels so weird, but like, I don't know. I, th I, th I think it's nice. He really loves his penguin now. He also asked for a dino charger, like Power Rangers dino charger. And this isn't specifically a Power Rangers one. I don't know. It looks fun. It looks cool. I think he'll enjoy putting it together. Noah loves puzzles so much, but he really needs ones that are less pieces like he can't do more than 100 pieces so i got him a 100 piece pokemon puzzle i enjoy doing puzzles too so i really like getting the kids puzzles because it's something that i can sit down and do it with them and i really really enjoy that noah loves his elf on the shelf so much but he gets sad every year when she has to leave on christmas day so he will have a present this year from his elfie to remember her by when she's gone. So cute. Um, some of these things won't be on Amazon like that was from TJ Maxx. But regardless, I will try to get as many links as possible. This was a gift I was kind of unsure about after I got. It's just a lot bigger than I was expecting. I should have read where it said 806 pieces, but it's a big Pikachu. I might have this like Lonnie Jr. make this with him and they get Lego glue and put it together and then put it on like a shelf for decoration or something like that. Last but not least for Noah, we got him a Harry Potter game because it's what he requested. A lot of times with Noah, he will request things that I just know aren't going to be things that he's really into, but he's been really into Harry Potter for a while now. This is Harry Potter years one through seven Lego Harry Potter. So I think he'll like that. We are doing things differently this year. We will not be filming this kid's Christmas morning opening. If I'm being honest, it kind of takes the joy away to not really be able to enjoy the kids opening their gifts because I'm trying to film it in a way that will be like fun to watch for our viewers. And this year we are not filming that. We are just going to enjoy Christmas morning with our kids. We've kind of taken a new approach with being YouTubers and that is to not have all of our life on there. It's hard. You have to decide what you want on there and what you don't. And we are wanting to just go back to how life was before YouTube, but while still being on YouTube, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't make sense, but we won't be filming our morning opening this year. And we will be doing a Christmas vlog and it will probably have some after effects and different things. It might have a few openings and stuff, but it's not gonna be like you're used to seeing. However, this is everything we got for the four kids. The only thing we don't have in here is anything I pick up from Black Friday, but our Black Friday vlog is going up before this vlog, so you will know if we picked up anything that's not in here. This is for our four youngest kids. We have two kids. One will be 14 on Christmas, one is 15, and our 15 year old is going to her dad's this year. She will be doing a Christmas opening before she leaves. Um, I've talked to her about it. She says she likes filming it and it's fun. It's different when you're trying to film one child or even two kids. I could probably do two kids, no issue. But when you're trying to film so many kids opening while enjoying it, well, it's it's just, it gets complicated fast. So I, I don't mind doing it for one. So we will do it for Danielle. Lonnie Jr. will do a what I got for Christmas video as well. That will be up probably the day after Christmas or something like that, just to show you guys so you guys can know. I don't put Lonnie and Danielle on here, their gifts on here, because I was not born yesterday and if I was 14 or 15 and my mom was putting my Christmas presents online, I would be sneaking a peek at that video, okay? And they are in public school this year, so one of their friends could decide to be punks and watch it and then tell them everything they're getting. I always try to be thoughtful in my gifts to all of the kids, but especially to the older kids as they get older. And that is it. If you are new to our landing crew, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. We would love for you guys to be a part of our family. And that elf is looking at me really strange right now. Do I need to take you back to the store? I can do it, you know. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy. Good tidings we 